if you are searching for a free video editing software to edit your videos, make sure you stick around and watch this video to the end. Because today, I am going to introduce you to one of the best free video editing software you can use to edit your videos professionally. Welcome to Tech Future Skills. So today in this video, I am going to introduce you to Shortcut. Shortcut is one of the best free video editing software you can use to edit your videos professionally. And it's easy to use and it's a cross-platform software, which means it can be downloaded to any operating system we are using these days. Name it Linux, Mac, or Windows. So today, I am going to walk you through on how to download and install this free software called Shortcut to your computer. So let's get started. Okay, here we are now. To download a Shortcut, go to Google and search for Shortcut Video Editor. Okay, click enter. Then you will see it here, shortcuts.org. Click on it. So, once the home page opens, you will see this sentence, the red sentence that says, click to download. Click on it. Then close this uh, advert. Then the next page that will open will be where you will choose which operating system you are using that you want to download shortcut into. So as you can see here, they download um, files of Linux, Mac, and Windows. So if you, you are using Mac or you are using Linux and you want to see the download, uh, download files, click on all, then scroll down. Then you will see the download files for Mac and the Linux. If you want to, if you are using Linux and you want to download it to Linux, you click on um, the Linux Portable Ta to download. If you are using Mac, you click on Intel Mac OS to download it to your Mac system. So, but. I am using Windows. So I will go ahead and click on Windows installer to download it to my computer. So click on it. Then shortcut will download to your computer. And depending on the speed of your computer, it will take few from few seconds to few minutes to finish with uh, its downloading. So we just have to wait until it finishes. Okay. So right now, a shortcut has been downloaded to my computer. So the next thing to do is to uh, go to our downloads folder to open it and uh, start to install it to our computer. So to do that, you go to your download folder. Then you will see shortcuts installation wizard here in your download folder. Double click on it. It launches the installation wizard. There is no much thing you have to do here than for you to follow the steps and click on agree, next, and then finally you click on install. And the shortcut will be installed to your computer with a wizard installation. That is why you don't have much thing to do. So before me, I've already installed it to my computer. So I will not go ahead and click install again. So, but after you have clicked install, it will run by itself. And after, after it finishes, it will, you will just click on close. And after you have done that, you will see... You go to your search, to your search bar here in, the, in your computer, and search search for the shortcut you have downloaded, and you will see this is the shortcut. Click on it to launch it. Yes, guys. So this is the shortcut platform 
the shortcut free video editing software that I'm talking about that you can use to edit your videos professionally, just like every other high cost video editing softwares out there. So now that the platform is open, I'll just have to go and walk you through to uh, some of the settings here so that the next video we're going to do, you will begin to see how to make use of these tools to edit your videos. So, so now that the platform is open, this is now the platform of shortcut video editing software. So to explain the few uh, tools that you'll be using here to edit, edit your videos. So as you can see here, the far, the far top bar here, which where you can find the file, edit, view, and settings. So all these things, uh, some of them you don't really need to do because even if you're using it for so many large uh, projects, so many of them you don't need to do uh, anything here. You just leave it as as the settings are. So, but uh, if you go to this edit, you will see that uh, if you're working on something and you made a, you made a mistake, and uh, you want to read, you want to undo it so that you start afresh again. So you can re uh, undo it by one step backwards, or redo it by one step forward. So and uh, how to copy or cut or paste. But, but this ones you're really not gonna use it from this uh, from this tool you will use it from the from the timeline tool it's where you will be seeing um, the work you have finished and you are you have exported and it's uh, ongoing recording here in the platform to be exported to your folder that is when you will see it at jobs here if you click here you see it here so and all these like uh, and all these tools like uh, keyframe Keyframe is when you will be using some uh, kind of animation here you in the timeline. But once you continue to use this uh, software, you will understand all this. Like markers, filters. Filters is when you will be adding effects like transitions and all others into your video. So you will get to understand them uh, once you start to use this uh, platform. Timeline is uh, like you can see here is the timeline where you'll be spending much of your time. So playlist is like a store where you store all the photo images or video image that you will be using for your project, for your editing project. Properties, um, uh, properties of the video you have imported or image you have imported to this uh, platform that you are using for your uh, project. Redo, undo, save, you already know all this. Open order, like if you want to create a background color for uh, something you want to edit with. So this is, uh, uh, here in the color section is where you will be able to add uh, some color background and things like that. So text is also where you can also be able to add uh, text to your project. But there are other ways you can also, other tools you can also click to add text. Like you can also go to filters and uh, from there add text. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure you like and share it. Follow my page and subscribe to my channel. You can also hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. In the next video, I'll be uploading videos on how to match two video clips together in this software platform and how to add tests and so many other tips that will be useful to you or anyone close to you. So make sure you stay around and see you in the next videos. Thank you. Bye.